The truth is coming out. So guys, let's talk about this. What am I saying? The truth is coming out. Are you not sick and tired of being sick and tired of looking at our world and now people say the truth is a lie and the lie is the truth and all this confusion, all this just crazy stuff that's going on, that's going to stop because the truth is coming out. Father, I want to thank you. You said it clearly in the Bible. There is nothing hidden that will not be revealed in due time. Nothing hidden. So I want to thank you. The truth is coming out in all areas of life, from the church to the world to singers, you name it, to the house of God. You did, We could just keep going on. The truth is coming out. It's like being in a storm way too long, and all you've been praying is for the sun to come out. And I want to declare to you the sun is coming out. This spirit of perversion that's been over the United States of America is being broken off right now in the name of Jesus. Broken off. The spirit of perversion is just called twisted truth. And that's going to be broken off. You will see clearly that the truth will rise up. Everybody will see the truth. Not just believers. Everyone will see the truth. There's going to be things exposed from the left to the right, from the top to the bottom. And the truth is coming out. It is time to be free. It is a different season that is going on and taking place. So I pray many of you rejoice that the truth is coming out. Already pray and have thanksgiving to God as if it's already happened. So, Father, I want to thank you that as time goes on, yes, the dark gets darker, but the light gets brighter and brighter. I want to thank you, Father. There'll be a big divide. There'll be no guessing who's doing what where. It'll be clear. It'll be distinct. And, Father, we want to thank you already in advance that you won. Jesus, you already came to the earth and defeated Satan, sin, and death, hell, and the grave. It's defeated. It is a defeated foe. Don't act like there's a war. There's not. It's just time to stand. Who needs to stand? Everyone. Don't lose your minds. Don't lose your heart. Don't become like the world and angry and bitter and mad. You don't have to do any of that to stand. Stand. Stand strong in what God is telling you. Stand strong when it's time to vote. Stand strong at the school board. Stand strong anywhere and everywhere God wants you to. Quit being angry and mad. Rest. The work has already been done. Jesus one day is going to come back, whether it's today or in a hundred years. And I want to make it clear. When Jesus comes back, he's only going to fully establish that which he's already won over 2,000 years ago in full measure. The purpose for Jesus waiting right now is out of love. He wants the harvest to come in. He doesn't want to lose one person. He wants everyone to have an opportunity to know him. Because God so loves the world. Because he does. And he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe in him would not perish. But have everlasting life. Do you follow me, believers? Awaken. Start acting like sons and daughters on the planet. Start realizing that God works on the earth through people. That we are the vessels of God on the planet to allow his light to shine through us. Awaken. Don't be like religious people. Don't be like people of the world. They are in the dark place and lost. It is time to arise from the left. From the north, south, east, and west, arise, arise, and take your place as sons and daughters of God. We're in the most epic part of human history you're ever going to see, because you're going to see things coming out now in society, life, church, the body, all of it. And what are you going to see? Truth. Truth. Like a truth. Donald Trump should have been dead, but he was not, was he? He turned his head at the last second, at the last moment. Nobody can deny that miracle. Doesn't matter all the crazy people, what they want to say and do. No one will deny that truth. It is that evident. And that is what I am telling you. The truth of God is coming in a profound way that what has been in dark places now will be exposed in the light. And I want to make it clear. It's coming to the body of Christ first and it's already here. Now it's coming to our world. God is hearing the people of the world crying out to him. And he's moving. And truth is going to rule and reign. So hold tight. Don't be worried about the lies. Don't be worried about being said and done because you cannot stop the truth. There is no fight between the darkness and the light. When you go into a room, it's dark. Do you fight or do you just turn the light on? So, Father, thank you that the light is being turned on. Thank you that it is time and you're bringing this truth about through people of courage to stand up. No different than Kennedy. Thank you, God, for Robert uh, Kennedy Jr., that he's standing up. And he's shining a light on a hill that all can see the truth and the light into the FDA and the pharmaceutical industries and all the things taking place. 
Protect him, Father, in the name of Jesus with your angels. Protect Donald Trump with your angels. Protect many people who are going to come in office and they actually care about people, all people. I want to thank you for this change that is taking place, Father, in the name of Jesus. May your truth reign and I thank you for truth because all of us have been hungry. Thank you for giving us a second chance. Thank you that you heard the, the prayers of people crying out to you. No different than in this city when punishment was coming. They begin to cry out to you and you gave them mercy instead of judgment. Thank you that the mercy of God is falling on the United States of America. We're going to see it in real time take place. So we thank you for this in advance in Jesus' name. Believers, rise up. Be the sons and daughters of God. Be led by the Spirit of God and do your part, whatever God's asking you to do. But rest on one thing. The truth is coming out, and it cannot be stopped any longer. In Jesus' name, amen.